Okay, I have a uh, MTD snowblower here. And the other day, as it was attempted to be, when we attempted to start it, the pull cord broke off. So we're going to uh, fix this. Okay, first off, we have to take this cover off. And there's a uh, just a quarter inch. But all you can do this with is like a little uh, ignition wrench. There's one screw on a little quarter inch a sheet metal screw here on top. And then also there's another one down here. See this on the bottom. Take this cover off. We'll see what we can do inside there. There's one. Okay, we have them both off. And there's the cover. So it looks like all of our work on this machine will probably be done inside. Okay, our pull cord broke right near the end, right near where it's uh, tied up inside the winder here. And the rest of the cord looks all right. Besides, I feel a little lazy today. I don't feel like running to the store to get one. So I'm just going to make it slightly shorter and uh, fix this pretty quick here. Now one thing I'm, I'm going to do here is a little bit different maybe is I, I've measured the cord. And the cord is 143 centimeters. Yes, I love the metric system. Simpler. So I've measured this at 143. So I'm going to figure out how many winds I have to make on this to wind it up to where the cord, when it comes out, when it pulls back, is going to pull back all the way, reseating the handle. And I decided to do this. You could do it a couple ways. You could, you could lay the cord around here to get the uh, the circumference, but why not just use the metric system here? Circumference equals pi, 3.14 roughly, times the diameter. So I measure the diameter of this to where the cord starts to wind around the outside here, and it's 11.5 centimeters. D equals 11.5. So when we multiply 11.5 times pi, 11.5 times 3.14 equals 36. So C equals 36 centimeters. And we have a total cord length. Cord equals 143. So dividing these two will tell us how many times we need to wind this in order to take up the entire cord. Divided by 36 equals ah, roughly four times, four revolutions. So what I'm going to do now, after I remove this, I'll be removing, of course, the old cord where it broke off and feeding another one through. We basically, from here, have to go around four times. So there's one, two, three, four. Of course, keep it lined up with the place where the handle comes in, right here. And then we're just going to clamp this, or better yet, uh, we'll simply stick a uh, we'll stick something in here between the, the veins on this cover and the uh, arms on here. Stick a nail or something in there, holding it in place at four, and then feed the new cord in and tie it off. So we'll pull out this bad cord here. Got a screwdriver jammed in there, and I'm just going to cut this end off clean and uh, melt it the nylon with with a match. Yeah, simple matter of melting this, keep it from fraying. Watch out, that's hot. Okay, one thing I did earlier was I took the cord out of the handle. Well, now I've got to put the cord back in the handle. I'm going to wind up doing it twice. Back in there, original pole. Okay, now I'm going to bring it through. It fed right through. That's why it helps to uh, helps to burn that end like that. Now it's just a matter of putting together a uh, decent knot in the end. We do not want this to slip. We're going to be back in here again. 
although this is not what I would call a difficult job. So I almost lost my screwdriver there. Okay, it's back in there. Now, if this is correct, this should wind this cord up. Wait, wait. Voila. It's a matter of putting it back on now. I guess I put this back together. An interesting thing on this. See these, I'm going to call them dogs that pop out. Those engage on some little notches on the uh, crankshaft of the engine to get it started up. As soon as you pull on it, out they come. That's a little thing, interesting thing. So I'm just going to put on the two, just the two little, uh, oops, I got this at the wrong angle here. Yeah, there's two uh, quarter-inch screws. I'm going to call them sheet metal screws, hex-head sheet metal screws here. This is a Tecumseh engine, 5 horsepower, on a 15-year-old, well-maintained MTD snowblower. A little priming, a little choking, a 